All right, what is going on, my dude? So we are back here today with the second buff video of the day on patch day. This is going to be on Bishop. We have a rank five Bishop here. We're going to do a, a couple fights with him in this video. So up first, no synergies whatsoever. Um, just Bishop, you know, just with my normal suicide mastery set up here. Um, he's really great with the suicides now because he just shrugs off that bleed right away. You parry, you hold block, and then he actually trades it in for a regen buff, which is pretty cool, uh, essentially. Um, is what happens he purifies it right so now this guy is really kind of like you know the mystic human torch here man so when you're fighting skill champions champions where you have class advantage or energy damage champions your prowess is going all the way up man as you can see like we got to like 50 prowess without like any issue now in the past if you were at this high prowess you were going to be like degening on yourself right but now actually there's a lot of regen in Bishop's kit, so it kind of did like a full 180 here. Um, and the damage is pretty nice. It, you know, it's funny, the damage is actually kind of uh, around the same where it used to be, but overall, man, uh, he's got some more damage over time here with the Incinerate. The Incinerate here does 70% damage uh, based on uh, how you know big the special two was, which is pretty nice damage over time, right? Um, one thing I am missing with Bishop now is that he doesn't any longer have the ability to gain power, you know, passively by blocking and, and, and stuff like that and gaining prowess, right? Um, so that's gone. But now, as you can see, he's spamming these specials like back to back to back to back. They're all huge specials. This is just a, a five star Bishop rinsing through Winter Soldier in like about like a hundred seconds, like a, a little over a minute and a half, which is not bad at all. Um, not bad at all. And, um... He definitely feels really good to play. He definitely feels really good to play. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna just walk into this fight, and I could show you that with his, uh, you know, his like manipulation over time or whatever he has, uh, he starts with the power bar that he ended with, which is pretty cool, right? So if you end with a special two, um, if you kill the opponent with a special two, you start with the special two. Now, there are these synergies that Bishop has now where you can start with one bar, two bar, three bar, no matter, you know, depending on how many you bring. Um, now these, these stack. Okay, so we're gonna build a little synergy team around Bishop here, okay? We're gonna bring in like Storm, we're gonna bring in either Electro or Doctor Strange or Cyclops, okay? And I think we're gonna bring in Doctor Strange. And there are two synergies that are also really, really good for this guy that I figured while we're making the video, let's go ahead and throw them on the team. So we have Mango Eggnog here, who's really, really good with him. Uh, plus 25% regenerate, also plus 30% prowess potency, which is really good. And we also have Storm X here, and what she has with Bishop is every 15 seconds, you get a power game buff granted 20% of bar power. While the power game buff is active, your prowesses do more damage and whatnot. Okay, then we're potent. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to go in here. And with these two synergies, Dr. Strange and Storm, we're going to start right away with two bars of power. Now, Winter Soldier is a skill champion, okay? So that means that we're going to be able to get the prowesses really, really fast, all right? And we're going to be able to toss off a pretty large special two, like pretty much right out of the gate. So one, you know, parry against a, a skill champion here is like um what is it like seven or more eight eight prowesses so we're already at 35 look at this big big special two now we didn't have the power game buff active yet but now the power game buff is going to help push us up to a special two another one okay so again um he's ticking down here he is ticking 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 with that incinerate okay we're going to go for another one we're going to try and wait for that power game buff to come back or i guess we're not <laughs> I guess we're not. But yeah, so Winter Soldier's already down to half health, two special twos in, and it's been like 20 seconds in this fight, give or take. I don't even know, man. And keep in mind that Storm is make or Mangog is making our regen rate even better. So our regen is really, you know, ticking up there, which is really, really nice. Um, you could have a max stack of like five of those regens, as you can see right here. And those they when with with that synergy, man, it's pretty darn good. So that's pretty darn good, man. So he's definitely a lot more sustainable than he used to be. Now, with this synergy team, right, the the, the, um, the power bar synergies like Storm and Doctor Strange, okay? Keep in mind, they're going to stack with your power bar. So I'll show you. I'm going to end the fight above a bar of power here, okay? Now, when I go into the next fight, I'm going to start at three bars of power because I start with one bar from the fight before, okay? And I gain the benefits of his sick ability of one bar, which is I'm going to be stun immune whenever I'm blocking. But also, Synergy brought me right up. Now, here's something kind of interesting, okay? Um, I feel like it'd be really great to... 
um, end a fight with a special two with his team. Uh, because what that's going to do is it's going to give you kind of like he has in his base kit, the 70%, you know, uh, incinerate, right? On the special two. He gets that as well. An additional one if he gets, goes into the fight with two parts of power. And the special three gives you an energy vulnerability. So if you go in with the synergy team with that special two, right? You're going to start at the special three with the special two bonus. You throw off the special three after you build some prowess. You have an energy vulnerability. You build up to a special two very, very quickly here while the energy vulnerability is still on. And that incinerate is ticking for a lot more. And that would be even more if we had the other special two bonus from the SIG ability, right? So yeah, um, there's definitely a lot you can do with this guy. Um, is he going to be a top 10 mutant champion? I don't think so. You know, a lot of people were really excited for him. I feel like a lot of people were like jumping the gun a little bit being like, you know, oh, Bishop's going to be another OP mutant. I don't think he's going to be an OP mutant. I think he's going to be so much better than he was. I think he's vastly improved. And I think that he's much more usable now that he does indeed gen himself. I think he's going to be a much worse defender too, because his special one gives like that incinerate aura. So you really want to use like an incinerate immune champion who doesn't have energy damage as well. But I don't even know, man. It's a, uh, it's interesting interesting it's gonna be interesting to fight this guy but yeah um but basically man he's uh he, he's he's definitely a lot better and he puts in some nice damage man on that special two the special two is really good it's a really good special two boom so this is what i was talking about by the way um where i was talking in the fight where if you end with the special two i'll show you you go into the next fight right with the special two active um his sig ability his foresight sig ability um it has like tiers where if you go in with zero bars one bar two bar three bars and right here you see we have the foresight two and then we have the special three active okay so that's what i was talking about now i'll show you the actual special three uh this the, the, the um the sig ability right here so as you can see with zero bars of power special attacks come unblockable uh with one bar stun immune whenever you block uh with two bars special attacks leave the target incinerated 70 percent special damage over 10 seconds and with three bars start the fight with steady active for 15 seconds okay so yeah um pretty interesting stuff man pretty interesting stuff with this bishop guy uh he's definitely much more improved um the ability to just shrug off those bleed debuffs is really nice um let's go ahead and just go like this yeah um just in general man i feel like he's he's a lot better um the fact that his special attacks cost no power to activate as well um makes it a lot easier to go into the next fight with the power bar that you need that's a great improvement he has a wonderful amount of energy resistance it's really really nice um the regen on the block is definitely not bad if you don't run the suicide masteries that's going to be a really nice regen for sure um each time the opponent purifies a debuff, they instantly receive 900 energy damage. Also, look at this. Skill champions also receive a passive stun lasting 1.5 seconds if the debuff is purified with a stun. So that makes him a great kingpin counter, a mole man counter. Yeah. So Agent Venom. Right, yeah. So overall, man, he, he's much improved. He's much improved. I don't think he's going to be a top 10 mutant champion, but he's going to be very usable and he's going to be very good. But... Anyway, my dudes, it's going to be it for this a new champ buff gameplay. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about the bishop buff in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you think it's really good? Do you think he's a top 10 mutant champion? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the Ronin gameplay coming to you very, very soon. I'll be seeing you around.